use our cars every day, but we are rarely in the driver's seat when it comes to car care. We bring you to Vintage Modern Performance, where we go under the hood with no better guy than shop foreman Nate Robinson. Thank you so much for having us here. By all means, thank you for coming. This is all very intimidating to me, Nate. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you can dispel some of the myths of really just how, how complicated a car is. Well, there is a lot that goes into it, especially when it comes to maintenance and keeping your vehicle safe, reliable, and up to date on maintenance and everything it needs to stay on the road. One of the things I think that makes me personally particularly nervous is having to replace a battery, but it's really necessary, isn't it? Every three to five years, they should be replaced. If you ever come into a situation where you leave your interior lights on or something like that in the vehicle and the battery goes dead, it's very simple to jump them positive, negative, and with a jump pack or jumper cables, red is always positive, black is always negative. This is all self-contained? Yes. This is very handy device that I would recommend keep in their vehicle. You have your cables, your black, your red, and you turn it on. Oh, very easy. So very it. good. Another thing that's also very important is making sure that your oil is clean. How do you do that? So you want to go about that with, on the side of the engine, there is always a dipstick. Okay. As you can see, the oil is nice and clear. All you do, pull that out, wipe it off, put it back in, pull it out again, and you'll be able to see the level. If it looks really black or anything like that, then I would recommend a oil change, and that should be done every three to 5,000 miles. Belts are also a serviceable item on your vehicle that you do want to make sure you pay attention to, because if your belt falls off, then all the components on the front of the motor, which keep it charged and keep it cool and keep it operating the way it should, they will not work. Belts are definitely very important. And about how often do you have to change those? And what would cause it to corrode or fall apart? It is a rubber material. So over time, they do get old. They dry, rot, and crack. Mm -hmm. So eventually, they will break. And they are you know, relatively easy to change. OK. Speaking of changing tires, and people drive a lot around here. There's mm -hmm. a lot of debris on the roads. Flats are very, and pot potholes cause a lot of flats on our cars. Mm -hmm. um, but also tire pressure. I would recommend a tire pressure gauge like this for most people to keep in their vehicle. Plop it right on, it'll pop out, tell you how much t pressure is in your tire. Each tire, it has a different air pressure that it's required. Yep. And where do you usually find that information? That information will be on the inside of the driver's door jam. It will tell you front, rear, and spare tire, what each tire should have for pressure. Spark plugs? Spark plugs are also a serviceable item. About every 30,000 miles, they should be changed. Very easy, you find the wires on your motor, pull them off, and then just pull the plug out. You make it sound so simple. I want to thank you so much for sharing all of that with us. By all means. Well, we're going to talk to your spark plug of a partner, Connor, in just a moment because, you know, a lot of us are not going to become mechanics and we need to know what we're looking at when we get that bill. So he's going to help us with that. Thank you so much. Anytime. <laughs> So Connor, this is a really exciting experience to be inside a car like this, but we're going to talk turkey here because when you get the bill, that's <laughs> when the sting comes. And I think we get really intimidated by what we don't know. So how do you ed look at a bill with an educated eye? Bills are scary. Uh, you <laughs> yes, know, they are. <laughs> customer service is really important. Uh, I mean, especially with anything that you're going to have money being spent on, you want to know what's going on with it. And, you know, lack of communication is a red flag for sure. So, you know, we try to strive to, you know, every other day you're getting pictures. I'm calling you. I'm saying, hello, this is what's going on. We found this. We have three options of how to go about servicing that item. So, yeah, you would definitely look for someone that's going to be you know, punctual and actually communicate, you know, upfront, good-hearted business. So do some due diligence. Yeah. Do some uh, some some internet searching, looking through it, see, make sure you're not getting taken to the cleaners or anything with that. Right, and have a friend such as yourself, which now I do, so <laughs> if I ever have a question, I know who to call and ask. Got your back. <laughs> Thank you so no much. Problem at all. Well, I think we should go riding and off into the sunset. What do you think? It's a gorgeous day. Let's do it. Let's do it.
We're back after this.